a much better view this way round, folks. Pass Road at the top of it is 1,489 feet high, the highest road pass in the Lake District. Provides stunning views over the Lakeland Fells. And the name of the pass comes from a large boulder nearby that resembles a little church, which is up by, uh, by, the, by the inn. Once reaching the top of the pass, a descent into Windermere was fast and hair-raising as the horses plunged along the narrow, steep and winding road. Little time to enjoy the stunning views over the Trout Lake Valley. Sitting at the top of the pass is a junction of two roads you'll see. One leading to Ambleside, the other to Win uh, Windermere. Right at the top is this 17th century Travellers Inn, providing comfort and shelter. It dates back to 1496. The building became within that appears in a photograph taken in front of the inn in 1993. The ghost who was the great-grandfather of the family photographed followed them home and now lives with them. So that's nice of him. There's others too numerous to mention. It's actually little um, beside the inn and the paved road to remind anyone of the presence of man. Views are very impressive up there. This is lovely. You might see the old, old strange walker wandering in the uh, mountains either side of us that you see sometimes up here. Even at this time of the year. Along the Kirkstone Pass as well, as well as lead and copper mining, a large amount of slate mining has been taking place over the years. Pets Quarry, currently being worked by the Kirkstone Green Slate Company, just before the highest point of the pass from Ambleside, which is the other side of the inn. Cordell Slate Mines, a few miles further down on uh, the Ellswater side and was last worked at the start of the 20th century so it's only recent really that uh, they stopped working. What that one? Yeah. yeah. Right the way down to the road is coming, it's lovely. Yeah. Now the little one, little falls on the left. 